and welcome to the Study Travel TV studio in London. I'm Nicola Hancox. And I'm Jenny Fennelly, bringing you the latest news stories. The top headlines this week. Drop in new international enrolments at US universities. Saudi Arabia softens stance towards Canadian scholarships. And new members for German Language Provider Association. And much more as well, so starting in the USA. Yes. The total number of international student enrolments at higher education institutions in the USA rose slightly in 2017-18 to a record of almost 1.1 million, but a first year enrolments declined by 6.6% according to the latest annual Open Doors report by the Institute of International Education. Yes, the overall increase was largely driven by a rise in participants in the optional practical training post-study work scheme during which students remain registered with their university. Postgraduate and non-degree students were down, while undergraduate enrolments were flat. China remained comfortably the largest source country with more than 360,000 students, a 3.6% increase, while second place India registered a 5.4% rise. However, the remainder of the top five, Korea, Saudi Arabia and Canada, all decreased. In a separate report following on from Open Doors, NASA Association of International Educators estimated that international higher education students contributed 39 US billion dollars to the US economy in 2017 to 18 and supported 455,000 jobs. Next, an update on Saudi Arabia's dispute with Canada, as it appears the Kingdom has softened its policy on the withdrawal of scholarship students and is allowing some students to return and complete their programmes. In August, the Saudi Ministry of Education announced that it was withdrawing funding for study in Canada and called for all students to return by the end of the summer semester, although medical students were subsequently authorised to remain. However, according to an update on the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada website, students on medical programmes, any graduate students or any final year bachelor students are now allowed to return to Canada to complete their course, a move welcomed by the Canadian Bureau for International Education. Next up, German Tour Operator Association FDSV has announced four new members for its inbound department of German language providers, which was created earlier this year. Yes, the association has announced that BWS German Lingua, DID Deutsch Institute, FNU Academy of Languages and Spraken Institute Treffbank have joined the inaugural members. And now for a roundup of some of the other stories this week. Navitas has rejected a takeover bid from the BGH consortium, led by its former CEO Red Rod Jones. The board of the Pathway Providers said it saw the proposal as significantly below its assessment of the company's value. Japanese agency Geo Club has been acquired by Xtech, a recently established technology and venture capital company. Xtech said it planned to expand both the individual and corporate client strands of the Geo Club business. The second edition of the Women in International Education Awards, hosted by LEAD 5050, were held in Berlin recently, with winners on the evening including Larry Maitland of French in Normandy, Jane Dancaster of Wimbledon School of English, and Odile Migueux of Asset. Congratulations to them! Education New Zealand has released the results of a public opinion survey showing that 73% of respondents believe that international education benefits tourism and 62% agreed its benefits the economy increases over the previous research. English UK has released details of a pilot project conducted with 20 members from the north of England that it says will give members greater data analysis of recruitment, capacity, occupancy rates and student experience. And secondary school chain ACS has unveiled details of the plans for its new campus in Doha, Qatar, due to open in August 2020 and accommodating 2,470 students. More on all of those news stories on our website, www.studytravel.network. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Goodbye.